So you want to be the most charming person in the room, the person that everybody wants to be friends with. Well, don't worry because your online bestie is here and I got you. Hi besties, it's your girl Shar here and the other day I had asked you guys what you wanted to hear from me next on the podcast and a lot of the topics you guys mentioned were either how to make friends, how to get people to like you, how to talk to people and how to be confident when talking to people and socializing is honestly such an important skill and once you have gotten that skill down you are able to use it to literally like charm everybody in the room, get what you want, maybe get that job you want, get your crush to like you make friends so today i really wanted to teach you guys the skills to socialize and be a very just charming engaging person so i'm gonna walk you guys through the steps from starting the conversation and being the person to make that first move from being a great conversationalist and to make a great impression that keeps people wanting more so when you're trying to talk to someone you need to be welcoming that means you need to make people feel welcomed and have this presence that make people want to talk to you so that's confidence in your body language have the posture up the way your eye contact is and even the way you approach them by talking so like confidence in your voice really articulate your words but body language and just the way you present yourself just by looking at you is so important because that is the first thing people notice like imagine someone is on the street and their hoodie is up their slouch their head is down and they like come up to you and try to talk to you you're gonna be like what the heck creep get out of my face but if someone who's very confident who looks very clean bright positive comes up and talks to you you're gonna be like oh what does this person want from me so the presence and having this welcoming energy is so important so if you want to try to catch someone's attention be someone who people would want you need to spark curiosity in people to hear what you want to say you need to think of yourself as someone with such important things to say and like have that mentality like i'm here and you're going to want to hear what i have to say so people when they see you they're going to be like okay like let's have this conversation. I'm excited to talk to you. And once you start talking to them and you do that initial conversation, be positive. Nobody wants a party pooper, okay? If you start a conversation being like, oh, I hate this. I hate my life. I hate myself. People are like, uh, what the heck? Okay, because you don't know how the other person's gonna take it. Maybe they'll take it well, but for the most part, nobody wants like someone that's an energy drainer to talk to them. Another thing is no matter how you're feeling about yourself, you never know how the other person is feeling. Like this person could be the most famous person in the world, but everybody just likes feeling seen. Think about how the other person feels and just make them feel seen. Be very warm. Maybe say, hey, I like your outfit. Where did you get it from? Especially at some type of party or event, people honestly just want to be seen and to be talked to. Even if you're nervous, you don't even know how nervous the other person is. So just make them feel comfortable. And now let's say you're in a business setting and you're going to talk to someone for like business reasons. You're trying to pitch yourself to them. Even though you're the one pitching yourself to someone, you still need to go in with that same confidence, that same energy. You need to be prepared. If you don't know what an elevator pitch is, that's basically like a pitch that you kind of have in the back of your head that you just kind of talk to people when you're pitching to them and like basically telling them what you want, what you can provide to them. So have that in mind if that's what your goal is. Be confident in what you're you're saying and be knowledgeable in what you're saying also don't be too serious about it you can be lighthearted. don't overthink everything like literally just kind of go with the flow if you're like stressed about what you're saying it's gonna come off as stiff and uncomfortable but if you're just kind of letting it flow even if you literally are so nervous if you have this like energy that you are confident people are gonna be like oh my god like who is this person like i need to get to know them and let's say you do this and you go up to someone and they just immediately shut you down or they just don't seem like they want to talk don't get discouraged by this okay don't just roll up into a corner and be like okay i'm never talking to anybody ever again because this is going to happen because you never know why someone doesn't want to talk to you you know someone could just be having a bad day there are times that I literally do not want to talk to people and I literally am just like, okay, <laughs> but don't be discouraged by it or feel bad by it because yeah, you never know what someone's going through or what someone's thinking. So just honestly, it's something that you just have to keep trying and trying and 
it'll click, especially if you're not someone who's used to like socializing and you're someone who wants to learn. This is gonna take a few tries. Like you're gonna have to go out there and actually speak to people, which is crazy. I know it might be scary, but you have to do it. If you're not ready to do it in public, maybe practice in front of the mirror, film yourself as if you're talking to someone. Trust me, I've taken like public speaking classes in school and like they would tell us that we would have to do this all the time. Like they would always be like, film yourself and watch yourself back and see if you feel like welcomed by yourself and you feel the energy from you and then be able to figure out what you need to work on. Once you've gotten in there, you've started a conversation with someone, you've got their attention. Next is the conversation itself. And my tip for you is to just be genuine because it is so easy to be fake. And I think sometimes a lot of people can be fake when talking to people, which is why if you give off the impression that you are very genuine in the conversation, that leaves a great impression in people. One tip I read in a book called How to Talk to Anyone, you guys should definitely read it if you're trying to learn how to socialize, by the way, is the slow smile rule. A lot of times I go to events and you see people like just trying to talk to everyone, trying to network, and they're just like smiling like the whole time. Like they're smiling like this. But on a day-to-day basis, are you usually smiling like that? That usually comes off as fake. Like imagine smiling like this and you're having a conversation and you tell me something really serious and I'm like, yeah. The other person you're talking to is going to be like, are they actually really listening to what I'm saying? Because why are they so happy? So the slow smile method is saving your smile for when there's a moment you actually need to smile rather than just smiling literally the entire conversation. So you save that smile and let's say you're talking to someone, you're attentive, you're listening, and they say something that would make you smile you process that this is very important you don't just like hear it and then smile right away you need to process that information like you normally would and then think about it and then slowly smile that comes off as so much more genuine it's kind of the same thing as like if you were to eat this amazing cake you wouldn't put it in your mouth and just be like wow this cake was so amazing because you need to take time to process the cake if that makes sense so you eat the cake you taste it and you're like oh my god that was amazing same thing for this you listen to them you process it and then you react the reason why this comes off is so genuine is because first of all you're not someone who is smiling the entire conversation you're saving that smile and then once you actually smile and you give them that like charming smile that you have they're gonna be like oh my god like whatever i just said made this person smile and by the slow smile technique it comes off as like a true authentic smile too so they're going to be like feeling good about whatever they just said next tip is to be exciting and interested and to be interested and exciting you need to be genuinely interested in the conversation which is why it's important to be genuine when talking to people i find it a lot of times when i go to events people just talk to talk but you're not really giving a lot (laughs) When you're talking, like, it just seems like you're just trying to talk to me, but what are you really saying? For example, if someone's asking you where you're from, don't just be like, oh, yeah, I'm from New York. What are they supposed to get from that? Oh, you're from New York. How are they supposed to respond? Make it more interesting. I'm from New York. And then tell them a crazy story about New York or some backstory about you in New York. That way they have something to piggyback off of. Or let's say you ask someone where you're from and they say, oh, I'm from Ohio. And then you just sit there like, oh, okay. Are you guys having a conversation? No, you're just talking to talk. Oh, you're from Ohio? What's there to do in Ohio? That sounds really cool. That way you're not talking just to talk. You're being more excited and interested to hear about them. And going off of that, just be curious about the person you're talking to, okay? That's very important. Be observant about what they're doing, who they're with, the environment you guys are in. So you can have a conversation where you guys can kind of like relate to, you know, like let's say you guys are at this party. Oh, like you can talk about the party, the environment. Be purposeful with whatever you're saying and make the conversation very intentional because i'm sure like let's say you're at an event or party or whatever these people are probably talking to so many other people they've probably had like all these small talk conversations like oh blah blah blah, like i'm from this place i'm from this place whatever so if you're having a genuine intentional conversation with someone that's gonna leave an impression and that's gonna stand out out of all the conversations they have and if you're trying to socialize someone in a business aspect 
being genuine is still very important because I think it's very easy, especially in this scene. Like if you're trying to connect to people, it's really easy to be fake and just try to kiss ass. These people you're connecting with are people too and they can see right through you if you're fake. Genuinely being curious about whatever you're trying to talk about with them, if they have a brand that you really like or you know you want to work for them, being genuinely enthusiastic about your conversation with them and whatever they do. If your goal is to get people to like you, you have to genuinely like these conversations and genuinely be interested in these people, which is definitely a skill that you have to use in your brain. I used to be this type of person who really could care less about what people would say. I'm going to be so honest. Like it would go like in one ear out the other and I would just be like, oh, okay, okay. Nobody would be able to have a good conversation with me because it was just like I wasn't actually paying attention to them. But once you're actually listening to people and trying to get to know people, you start to think that, oh, they're actually very interesting. And you learn a lot about people, honestly. Everybody has a story. I think that's a very key message to remember is that everybody has their own story. And if you really take the time to try to get to know someone, they're going to tell you their story and you're going to learn a lot and you're going to be surprised and you're going to learn a new side about this person that you never did before. And now, besties, I'm going to tell you the biggest rule to get people to come out of that conversation being like, wow, that was amazing and I want to have another conversation with them. Listen. Just listen. <laughs> Most people just want to be heard and just want to be listened to. People love talking about themselves, okay? Even the quiet, most introverted people have a lot to say because these people are the most observant. So if you actually ask them questions and listen to them, you will find out that they have a lot to say. I've had conversations with introverts and sometimes I find out they are the most like energetic people when it comes to like what they have in their mind like they literally just spit out a bunch of things and say so much that it kind of like shocks you all of a sudden like oh my god this person's suddenly talking so much since they're probably like so shy and stuff they're not used to having people like talk to them like that and like listen to them like that because usually when people like talk to shy people they're kind of like okay and then move on but shy people are so observant, which means they literally have, like, a lot of opinions on things because they observe so much that once you kind of, like, get to know it and you dig deep, oh my god, they're gonna spill the tea. But kind of going back to what I said before, just really listening to what people have to say so you can provide, like, insightful thoughts as well and insightful questions based on what they're saying. And a big thing that plays into this is eye contact. Like, if you are so focused on this person, like, all you can really do is just listen to what they say. Make sure you don't have any distractions, like you're not thinking about the next person you're going to talk to or what's on your phone or your surroundings. Like literally just focus on this person and listen to them. I've also learned this a lot about, let's say your friend comes to you with a problem. A lot of times they don't want you to give them advice. They just want someone to listen to their problem. If someone was going to you and just like spilling everything and like how they're so sad or something sometimes they don't want to hear hey you should go to therapy actually you shouldn't say that that's like the worst thing you could say hey i think you should go to therapy because a lot of times these people are probably like you don't think i've tried that you don't think i've thought of that or they might get offended you think i should go to therapy a lot of times they literally just want someone to listen to their problems sometimes not saying anything is the best advice and oh my god going to brand events and all of that has taught me that People like business owners love to talk about themselves. They are the people who love to talk about themselves the most. If you're trying to like network with people, ask them about their come up story, how they started in their business. People love talking about that, okay? They're like, oh my God, let me tell you how hard it was to get to where I am and let me tell you how much work I put in. But it honestly is very interesting. I learned a lot from a bunch of people through just by listening to them and like listening to their story and that way you can come up with meaningful ways that you can benefit them and another tip that i learned from my book if you're in a situation where you want to be someone who is kind of engaged or like having a good conversation with someone but you actually are like so tired and you don't really want to talk that much there's this technique called parroting what parroting is, like you start the initial conversation and then they start telling you like a story. Let's say they say something like, um, gee, I lived in California for three years and I surfed with my boyfriend on the beach. You would say, surf? Question mark. Basically, literally just repeating a word or a significant phrase 
in their sentence. So like surf question mark? Oh yeah, I surfed for 10 years of my life. I actually really like surfing. My dad taught me. Your dad taught you? Yeah, my dad actually also loves surfing. He is amazing. He taught me when I was five years old, blah, 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 and so on. That's if you don't actually have the energy to talk. <laughs> Parroting is a great method to still have people feel listened to and be able to talk about themselves when you're not really doing any work. When you genuinely listen to people like this, they're going to want to talk more and more because they're like, oh my god, someone who actually wants to listen to what I have to say. And then after that, once the conversation's over, they're going to be like, wow, that was great. I want to talk to them again. And that's how you do it. So just by being welcoming, genuine, and listening to the person you're talking to, you can be the most charming person in the room. Now, these things may take practice if you're not used to it. Trust me, I am someone who used to not be the greatest conversationalist, but once I started implementing these skills, you could see the difference. You could see how engaged people are. But honestly, I do feel like I need to practice it more often too because a lot of times if I don't want to talk, I'm not talking. Like I am dead silent. But if I need to turn this on, I'll turn it on. So with these skills, you will leave an impression on people and have them wanting more. But use these skills with caution because everyone may just fall in love with you. If you guys thought this podcast was helpful, please rate and review. That would mean the most to me. But thank you all so much for listening. I love you, besties. Bye.